Hi there and welcome to this review of the One Way UK Daily Devotionals for the week the 2nd through to the 6th of January and we'll be looking at John 13 verse 31 through to John 14 verse 4. Well we began the new year as it was for us on Monday uh, by looking at um, something that Jesus said. He, he said that now the Son of Man is glorified and God is glorified in him and we were considering the fact that uh, in a year which is going to be quite exciting in the UK because of the uh, Queen's uh, Diamond Jubilee and the, uh, the, the whole excitement of the Olympic Games that whatever our take on life, whatever our religion, whatever our philosophy, whether we believe in God or not, um, can alter the fact that as far as life is concerned, Jesus is at the centre of it all. So with that thought in mind, we went on to Tuesday and we looked at what was the most important attribute of the church. And Jesus said, by this all will know that you are my disciples if you have loved one for another. And really to cut to the chase, consider for a moment what would a God who is love most wish to see exhibited by his church? Well I suggested on Tuesday that's a no-brainer because uh, music, teaching, care programs and outreach all have their place but we are nothing without love. On Wednesday, we considered the fact that uh, Peter um, was really earnest in his uh, protest to Jesus, saying that, I will lay down my life for your sake. We know what Jesus answered. Um, he, in fact, said that Peter would deny him. What are we to learn from this situation? Well, we can often feel that um, uh, things happen in, in church in particular perhaps um, where we actually get guided by guilt. We say yes to things not because our heart's in it, not because we feel we ought to do it, but just out of a sense that what will people say if we don't? Um, you know, it, it, it isn't a question of us saying, well, I've not even got the ability. It's a question of us saying, I don't want to get involved. But you get involved in something that perhaps you shouldn't be involved in. Um, because we get this guilt thing. And Peter knew what the right reaction was uh, concerning Jesus. But his mouth was running ahead of his heart. And he couldn't, when it came to it, he couldn't back up what he'd said with his actions. He wanted to do the right thing, but he hadn't got the moral strength to carry it through. So what's going on there? Um, well, really, it's a developmental thing. And uh, we're watching Peter attempting to run before he could walk. And rash decisions need to be tempered by realism. In other words, what does it boil down for, for, uh, for you and me? What does it just come to? Well. Walking by faith isn't a blind stab in the dark. It's relying upon our God to the extent that we have learned to trust him. In other words, it's how strongly we believe that yes, God will do this or will stand by us. It's got nothing to do with God um, in that sense. It's got nothing to do with uh, any weakness on his part because he has no weakness. It's a developmental thing. Learning to walk by faith is a step at a time, a step at a time, just like learning anything. On Thursday, um, we have Jesus saying, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Do you know that uh, seven times in the Gospels, Jesus says, do not worry. And the reason that worry is so stressful is because we're not designed to cope with worry. Uh, you see, when uh, God created Adam and Eve, uh, they had a perfect
perfect relationship with him in a stress-free environment. And um, they quite seriously had no worries. And um, worry only entered the world through disobedience and sin. And the key to not worrying is, of course, as with everything else, faith. Faith in God. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7 teaches us that we should cast all our care upon him, upon God, for he cares for us. And finally, on Friday, uh, we came to uh, the, the, where Jesus is saying, In thy father's house are many mansions. Goes on about that. Well, there was a progression uh, in John 14, 2 to 4. Uh, first, we discover there are many places in Father God's house. And Jesus is going to prepare a place for us uh, within the Father's dwelling. And Jesus will return so that we can be where he is. And finally, we know where Jesus will lead us. You see, remembering that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, we go forward in life by faith. And 